Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So, last time we finished off the Chapter 4 trial and found out that Sakura actually committed suicide and this was not a murder. And Alter Ego had to pay the price of being subjected to punishment because Real. he didn't have anybody to punish because Sakura's already dead. No, we have like zero people. Yeah, there's literally just the five idiots now. Great. So yeah, uh, and also the mastermind did something to, to their bodies, so we need to figure out what that is. What are they saying the mastermind did to me? <laughs> what did the mastermind do to us? Something. I mean, did the mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? Oh my god, are we, we gonna explode? To leave <laughs> a sensor goes off, and the bomb explodes? I've seen stuff in, like that in movies and comics and stuff, so it's totally not and unheard of. And in that one Spongebob episode. And Spongebob. No, I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. That's... Yo! Anyway, the class trial's over and Monokuma's gone. But... So, like, what do we do? Yes. What else is there other than to head back yes. up? Uh, um... <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, let's get out of here. Well, I would love if I could read the one word that's on this fucking screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> but... but... <laughs> uh, didn't you try to kill us? <laughs> I can't, I can't really Your mic is like... <laughs> I can't move any farther, your bed's here. I, um... <laughs> <laughs> this is as far as I can move. Okay. Hina must still feel responsible. You asshole! I, um, I, um, hm. um, I... Huh. Dial back that ego a bit, girl. <laughs> She's traumatized, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Not possible. I would never have lost to that kind of challenge. I'm gonna rip your You were literally going- off. You were going to lose. I know. Like, you yeah. literally lost your cool. <laughs> What are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto were the ones that figured everything out. Real. Stop talking. Shut up. You're just mad. I'm taking away your UI now. Seriously, I'm sorry. Sorry don't fix it. Oh. Hm. How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make that the last one? I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. I'm sorry, sorry. that you're a massive fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see what you mean. Then... I'll try. I'll try. Huh? Huh? What? H-U-H? H-U-H? That totally wasn't normal, right? Did she just capture his flag? Ew. No, 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 no! <laughs> okay. I could not suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and my master. She's turning to a feral dog. Huh? What the fuck are you on? <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo. What are you talking about? That's absolutely not what's happening here. This is kind of weird. Why would I ever go for a sleaze ball like him? A greasy shit. What did you say? Sleaze ball? Yeah, you slimy bitch. <laughs> what the heck? That's right. I called you a sleaze ball, cause you are sleaze ball. Apparently, you still have a death wish, <laughs> bitch. Oh, more biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. I have plenty. No, 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 no. Hey, stop fighting with Master. You're making me jealous. I want the abuse, give and take. Me. Ew. That's weird. I guess it's not so easy for everyone to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. <laughs> and <laughs> Kyoko's just like... Mm. And so Sakura's class trial came to an end, and we died. Real. But the story wasn't even close to over. We had two more chapters. Time kept marching on. We all went back to our rooms, but before no Nong... Long. For what? <laughs> Nong light. Oh, Long Nong. Night. Oh, God. Snuck up on us. I, I accidentally mixed up the two letters. Bong. Ahem. <laughs> Die. Wake up. Oh, never mind. Go to bed. <laughs> Nighttime descended and pulled me down it, with it. I couldn't remember the last time I slept ever. But the night still wasn't over for me. A voice. I can hear a voice. What? Who is saying this to me? I wake up. The what? Huh? The voice dragged me from deep slumber into a hazy half consciousness. My eyelids were glued shut. They glued my eyelids. Oh, this part. <laughs> Bitch. How did you even get in my room? I know, right? Yes, it's me. It's I me. broke in. Your sweet angel baby. It's me, your sweet <laughs> angel <laughs> baby. <laughs> Kyoko, what are you doing? I said I'm here yes. to kill you. So Kyoko's here. Yes, you fucking moron. Wait, what? <laughs> that Wait, sounded what? like a totally different character. In a flash, I was wide awake. This fucking flash. Ah. Why is this stuck? 
I don't know. All right, anyway. <clears throat> In a flash, I was wide awake. I was the flash. What are you doing here? It's true. I'm here to wake you up. Yeah, I got that. Um, I own an alarm clock. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, I see. Wait, but my door. <sighs> it's broken. <laughs> I, <laughs> I broke tore it. it off the hinges. It was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Hey. Always. And you don't have to overreact like that every time Shut you're surprised. Shut the fuck up. Why would you take away my text box? <laughs> what time was it? It, 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 it? Three o'clock. In the morning, of course. It's 3 a.m.? Oh boy, 3, 3 a.m. Santa's coming to town. <laughs> or uh, 10 a.m. I was thinking of Patrick with the Krabby Patty. I don't remember. Who wants an order at 3 in the morning? Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy 3 a.m. Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? Is this a booty call? Can I help you? It's so late. What happened? Makoto. I have a favor I need to ask. Tell it to someone who cares. Oh. A favor for me? Well, I need a how can I refuse? Makoto. If I have a fair a maiden asks me for a favor, I must oblige. Ew. What's your favor? So. Remember what Sakura said at the end of her note? I intentionally forgot. It said, Makoto, you suck. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. What did I do to you? <laughs> you hurt me. I want to find out what she meant by that. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> okay, but how do you plan to do that? Bye. The Kyoko Whoa. put her lips up to my ear. And, and chomped I was my like, ear off. <laughs> and then I started screaming. <laughs> You're a bitch. <laughs> the data center on the fourth floor. Yeah, that's great. Can you back up? What? Goodbye. Bro. Oh, Ew, I, yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you there. <laughs> She's like, I'll meet you there. I'll see you then. <laughs> Makoto. <laughs> Starts screeching. Without another word, she was gone. What the? Okay, there's no way Monokuma, I mean, isn't looking at the camera, or maybe they aren't. I know. Just like, what the hell was that? What the fuck? Her words reverberated throughout my half dazed head. The data center? But I thought it was locked. What the heck? I bet there's I mean, like at least 10 Guinness World Record books in there. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. No, I don't even get to walk. I made my way to the after hours school, headed for the data center on the fourth floor. Well, welcome to the data lab. Ow. Actually, I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. What the hell? She stood me up. That's weird. She said she'd meet me. She meet me inside already? Put my hand at the door with a certain amount of force. I tore it off the hinges. It didn't open. I well, tried again, but... Well, we tried everything. It must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor? What's this? Oh, what are you doing up, mister? You fucking... I don't know. <laughs> Gah! Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... Hey! I'm gonna bust a cap in your butthole! <laughs> I can see that, you dolt! Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself. It looked like you might break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. How come you didn't come into my room and question me about what Kyoko told me? <laughs> I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder and say don't! <laughs> or are you gonna try and tell me you were actually sleepwalking or something? No, nothing like that. I was awake walking. Oh, even worse. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know? Stop being weird and go back to freaking bed. If you're up again in 20 seconds, I will kill you. That's me when I randomly wake up at like 2 a.m. and I go, uh, <laughs> well, stop being weird back. and go back to bed. <laughs> What's what, wrong now? What wrong? Just a second. My name's Jake Marshall. <laughs> What's wrong Hello. now? I own this school now. I own this school. Why are you out here making a racket? Don't you know it's 3 a.m.? You? You're breaking rules. <laughs> Kyoko! <laughs> now you too? Oh, okay, oh, that was poorly okay. voiced. You guys? Whatever, do of you get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. It's true. Sure, you got it. Yeah, I do. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? I said let's go! <laughs> Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Shall we go? Don't worry about it, let's just go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go on, get out of here. Shoo, shoo. Freaking teenagers. <laughs> so we left and went back to our rooms for no reason. He's like, I'm so glad I woke up at 3 a.m. for this. <laughs> and then? Goodbye. So, goodbye. <laughs> Hold on. Listen, what was that all about just now? Hijinks. She woke me up, made me go to the data center, which so happened to be locked. And then she shows up, wait, we, wait. She shows up late and we leave without checking a single thing. And then she shows up, wait, and we leave without checking a widow. What was thing? the point of all that? fuck? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of our conversation, just like always, but... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sure. And that was over. 
But as they turn to leave, oh my god. Another wee spar. Mukuro Ikusaba. Real. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dramatic. <laughs> Yoko is right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th he goes, I heard you the first time. <laughs> Here is the meme. We're going to hear this 50,000 times before the end of the game. The one they call the, the ultimate, ultimate despair. despair. I barely remember anything Watch from this fucking <laughs> game. Watch out for her. Why'd you read my line? <laughs> <laughs> All star Chapter 4, apologies. Despair. <laughs> Chapter 4, Mukuru Ikusama. Well, let's see who died. Oh, it was you only. Oh, and a seventh person showed up. Welcome to the school. Welcome to 2 be continue. <laughs> All right. All right. You received the ball. A lump of nothing. Yes. We don't need chapter two anymore. Mukuro Ikusaba. Thanks. Ah, uh, thank you. I <laughs> forgot that you told me this. The sixteenth student. I love stupid anime gasps so much. They're so fun to do. Kyoko told me to watch out. Mukuro Ikusaba? That was three days before. <laughs> three days before we'd be faced with another murder. Spoiler alert. Three oh. days before the worst <laughs> thing so far would reveal itself. <laughs> You're gonna listen back to this recording and be like, what the fuck was that noise? Chapter 5. 100 mile dash. Pain of a junk food junkie. What does this have to do with the game? Daily life. Alright, that was a Life. The life. The life. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall, everyone died. I wish you would die. So let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Hey, didn't you make you didn't make small talk or anything? You never just get to straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, then you must refrain refrain from brainless. <laughs> he just goes, okay. How was your day? Oh, well, it was actually I didn't actually care. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it to someone who gives a fuck. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Shut. Well? He acts just like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think anyway. <laughs> Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. You're weird. In the name <laughs> and no matter what it takes, I will grab that udder <laughs> and win the world of them. Ew. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend uh, I didn't hear that. It's you. Huh? Hey, Toko, you've been uh, pretty quiet. You okay? Udders make me uncomfortable. All right then. Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. <laughs> What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. This is great. Hmm. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. Damn. What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat. Or drink water. What the f- I don't care. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is small talk. Oh wait, my bad. I believe this is the small talk Byakuya warned us against. Come on. And yet, I let myself get involved. That's because you have no backbone. <laughs> but it's now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop Let's running your mouths and start moving your fucking legs. <laughs> Pressure might obviously irritate Byakuya. I called out fuck you as he left. <laughs> he turned around really quickly. <laughs> and then he didn't know what to do. <laughs> so he turned around again. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going to the top floor. I'm not sure why I'd even put me here. No, I'm going to the bath. I'm actually going to just spin in a circle forever. No, I'm going to go. <laughs> I didn't... That literally didn't sound like it was coming out of your mouth for at least five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Where is... Oh. Huh. I'm such a dumb head. Listen here, you bo your boopy butthole. Listen <laughs> here, you boob. Wait, where's the stairs? Oh! I tripped and fell down the stairs, and then my case started. So here I am on the fifth floor of Host Peak Academy. The fifth floor has opened up for us. And it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. Finally, some greenery! For some reason, it feels unpleasant. Are those plants fake? Mm -hmm. I think they are. Oh, the giraffe room. No more. He's so dirty. Nighttime Ooh. secrets. Okay then. It's kind of more weird. like never show me that again. More like ten frames per second. More like zebra room. <clears throat> Catch me if you can. Wait, Wait up! I'm, I'm gonna, gonna punish, punish you. you. Gross. 
Huh? Does she want to talk to me about something? Toka, what's wrong? Just open your mouth, you bitch. <laughs> Is she trying to say something? I think she's almost... <gasps> she's a little more and I might get it. He just comes over and he fries her mouth. <laughs> Grabs like a crowbar. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. Fucking idiot. She just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad. I guess she just gave up. I called wow. her an idiot. You're a certified, uh, dimble dork. Yeah, you dimble. Fucking nimrod. Fucking, I don't even... Fucking dork. <laughs> oh, hello, extra tall. Ah, uh, hello, Bilbo. That's not my name. This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. Yeah, whatever. There's definitely ghosts on this floor. It's on it? <laughs> By me. Whoa. Uh, what in Bye the for goddamn eye. shit? What the hell is this? What have you done to the my beautiful class? struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled was delightful. It was sour, pungent. <laughs> Pungent Pung and Pungent? possibly rank. Yakia, did you rip ass? <laughs> smells or did awful, you just shit it? yourself and smear it on the walls? <laughs> it's my poop. <laughs> it's beautiful. It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Have you seen blood before? Are you saying? Hmm. It's the smell of death. Their flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice. No shock. This is absolutely right. foul. I had experienced the smell before once that in the past. The smell of death and despair. Hmm. But the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... Hey. What, my uh -huh. fault again? <laughs> Stop trying to blame everything on me. If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Now then. Yep, let me give you... Let me give you an itty-bitty, easy squeegee little hint. Fuck me. <laughs> as far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. Uh, but it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk? Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody gruesome deaths every day. I can't so wait. it's not really I a big deal. Wait. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. What's he talking about? All out of nothing. <laughs> he just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of all this? What the hell? I'm going to oh. help. Go insane. What the hell was that? The, the base was so strong there. I know. There were white chalk outlines thrown all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it, but I do. Ah, crusty blood. I want to shut my eyes forever and scrape my face against it. Ah, brown, my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> it appears all blood stains are dry, and their colors change as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. Is this all really blood? Hmm. Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. You're weird. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? I know it's real blood because I tasted it. <laughs> it's easy to join yourself. No way I can keep up with someone like that. Freaking weirdo. Um, Byakuya, what about Monokuma just told? He told us a thing, right? It's like I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard? Or is he just flat out ignoring me? Listen here, schmidiot. Okay, bye, I guess. Did I miss something in there? I'm gonna double check now, because I feel like he's supposed to say something else. Um, no, I guess not. One of those monitors. Huh. Alright. Fucking bye. <laughs> Raw. It's locked. You came all this way just to be denied here? The sign in the hallway says bio lab. And raw. A bio lab that we're forbidden from seeing into. It kinda sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Bye. What's in here? I'm gonna pretend like you're not there. 
A suit of armor is on display. Extremely uh, Japanese. Thanks for the coin. Nice. I don't see her. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use this for training here too? Nice. What the fuck? Oh, what the frick? There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. Wooden lockers and keys remind me of super old public uh, bathhouses. Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here, and it's in full bloom. Hey, it's quite elegant. Why are you talking? Is this elegant. What you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? Wait, so is this? Has Danganronpa all this time been taking place in America or some shit? Honestly, I don't know if that might have been just been changed for translation or. Oh, maybe. Look, Yoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? We're gonna play it back for you in case you forgot. Mikuro Ikusaba, Stop. the sixteenth student, with the one they called Watch. Um, Kyoko. I'm not going to say anything. Fuck you. I can't say anything. Yoko narrowed her eyes. They're it's not watching. even facing the right way. Her gaze darted out to the surveillance camera that wasn't even looking at us. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. How did Kyoko get her hands on information that could, that could be that important? So then. We're finished here. Okay. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. It's just like usual. I didn't understand anything better than before. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I don't understand. Why does Owie look so threatening? Why does Owie look like an Owie? Why do you look like an owl? Bro, this is the where the truth comes out. <laughs> yeah, why does that lead to like, it look like it led to nowhere? I know. You better guard your entire body, you're about to get ripped to shreds. Hero. Oh my god, we're in the outside world. Wow. Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? <laughs> Hello. Hello, chicken. Look at these pi five pixel chickens. <laughs> They're just regular cocks, right? <laughs> like they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or... They're not... They're cocks, right? Alright, tag yourself. I'm the one staring at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the really round one? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm the really round one also looking at the opposite one. <laughs> it seems safe. Whoa, is that null? <laughs> Chicken. Bro, that's me talking. Cock a doodle do. <laughs> or oh, I mean, like cock. To I'm gonna eat one. No. Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? There's exactly five of them here. Uh, honestly, if I had to pick any room in the school to hang out at, I'd probably be here a lot. Yeah. And the uh, cherry blossom one. Exactly. Hmm. And the game room. Five. You know, the number that comes after four and before six. Man, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> at least in terms of natural numbers, I know at least six of them. Anyway, whatever the number five comes up, uh, that's a good omen. Can I use the mystery of the cosmos? I'm at least 30% right. It's a number of power. A refreshing number on par with hand squeezed all lateral. All lateral penis. lemonade. <laughs> Never lets me get a word in edge boss. Yo! At first, I thought I saw blue skies, but it turns out they just painted the frickin' walls. You know? Oh, the plants are all real. It's been a while since they smell vegetation. I'm gonna relax. What the heck? It's not what you're thinking. It, that's not what you're thinking, is it? Why is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface. Beneath their calm exterior, they're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge in Earth anymore, the end is they'll put their plan for global human extinction into action. Well? I'm serious. Fuck you, dude. Welcome to the shack. The book shack. Just to be sure, I should take a look at the book shack. Yep. No books. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower to fertilizer to flower pots to farm tools. Farm Leaning against tools? the back wall. Is that a pickaxe? That sounds like a murder weapon if I've ever heard one. There's a lawnmower. Even with this here, he's actually going to take care of the lawn. Not me. There are different kinds of gardening tools. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? That base is insane. <laughs> uh, is there something? There's something carved in the handle. Crazy diamond? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Come on, Makoto. You had five 
events with Mondo. How do you not? Bags of fertilizer are piled up. I'm gonna eat it all. So, so many kinds to choose from. Hmm, fertilizer. The pots. So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grab some flowers to put in my room. Said no one ever. Never ever. Alright, the book shack had nothing. I want to climb in there. What is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! Watch out! What? That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plant's all like, snap, and then your flesh is all like, blue, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing, if I do say so myself. A student helps Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist. Although, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Actually, Either way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. You can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of plant... Uh, no, not plant society. Healthy society. Not that I know anything about that myself. <laughs> it's getting more and more nonsense. Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. By that, I mean I'm going to climb in head first and hopefully die. There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? I love sprinkles. Yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. Sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. Of course, the settings panel is locked, so you couldn't change it even if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning? Yep, you got it. Super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through the sprinklers anyway. Yes. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm gonna tell everyone. You won't buy. <laughs> you're an asshole. Hmm. There's always a camera. Okay. I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. Once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. Probably nothing important. What's up, useless? <laughs> One after another, everyone made to the dining hall, except it was just two people. And before too long... No, hmm. great. It would appear everyone has returned. I'm heading the ship. But still, shut the hell up. It's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second! Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we'll get over it. We can still field a basketball team. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. But hey, yeah, we can kill Biakio. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. Yeah, stop. <laughs> for the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. <laughs> can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out whatever what everyone else uh, did and found. Yeah, you should die. Yeah! I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to kind of be Sakura's job, but... Hmm. Anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor, either. We're stuck in here permanently. So, but when um... I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? It's totally just a, a school! You'd look... <laughs> you took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Mikado? I searched with my eyes closed. Oh, great. Why do you ask? So then. Because if you did, open your fucking eyes, <laughs> maybe you would have noticed the flip the flip the floor <laughs> is lacking something every other floor, floor has. The floor itself. <laughs> the floor was not there. <sighs> something on all the other floors, but not on the floor? Are you talking about floor uh, stairs? <laughs> there aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Yeah. Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. Thanks. Why are we here? <laughs> but that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, we know. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this at some point. No, not I'm not, I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. Alright, guys. 
Hello, useless. Hey, Byakuya, it still seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Oh my god. Hey. Well, because you were the one who told her to shut the fuck up. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'd forgotten about that. Huh? Jesus, man, I know you're tor- I know you like torturing her, but come on. Hmm. Well, Toko, if you want to envelop it all into a future <laughs> breath, I won't stop you. That's such a mean, That's so mean. statement. <laughs> you honor me, master. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. <laughs> this is fucking weird. <laughs> You're just gonna take it? He's like, nah, I can still stop. <laughs> Shut up and don't interrupt when Master and me are talking. Okay. How'd you brush your teeth um... if your mouth was closed? <laughs> okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was th this a knife? Whoa, that thing is huge! It's like Rambo size! What? Not as big as me. Survival Please knife shut of some the hell type. Up. type. It's a type of knife. Do you know what a knife is? Do but what you? was it doing in the classroom? That doesn't belong in there. Well, How would I know? You probably brought it. Very suspicious. What are you going to use that knife for? What do you plan to do to us? I'm not going to do anything. I just picked it up. And I didn't want to leave the knife just lying around. How about that? I'd rather have it lying around in my butthole than at the hands of a serial killer. What is wrong with you? Whoa. <laughs> Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Listen, more important, please never <laughs> speak <the> again. <laughs> now that we have a knife, what are we going to do with it? I can think no? of three things I can do with this. <laughs> you can't like Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's I don't problem? want it anyway. It's too dangerous. So what to do? So then. Well, you can stab people with it. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? <laughs> Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto because he's a little bitch. Okay. <laughs> then that's it. The it. <laughs> Hold on, don't I get to say? It's all clear. Just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. <laughs> You're just mad because you wanted the knife. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> okay, so, so here you go, Makoto. <laughs> like I already said yes. I promptly inserted the knife through Toko's stumble. <laughs> Fine. I guess there's nothing I could do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. He just goes, hold this. Stabs him. <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> do I still have bad breath? Uh, yes, but... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Oh, good job. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? Did, did Master just praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you, I guess. <laughs> I'm having a breakdown. Oh, I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. <laughs> Thought I would ever experience such a dream. Oh, I hate no. it here. It's going. I feel. <laughs> I feel, I feel weird. weird. Whenever I look at Toko these days, I just want to die. <laughs> it makes me feel sad. What the fuck? Dude. Hm. Oh, you want to talk to me? By the way, didn't any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no, strange is a massive understatement. The bloody one? The smell the of fat bloody. flesh and fat and blued? The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've ever encountered here so far. What? What, what the hell are you talking to? Did you not investigate? The smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's every body smell. <laughs> every body Every body's smell. <laughs> God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe that. What? <laughs> I mean what the hell happened? That somebody shit everywhere? So in other I can words, only think of one thing. Every body. <laughs> A large group of people died right there in that room. Really? Oh. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up! It can't be. That's really cool. <laughs> Perhaps that's what was meant by the big- oh wait. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. A few students died. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking of the same thing, then. My theory is, the mass murder that took place in the room was said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? In other words... Precisely. The tragedy is another, uh, another, another name for genocide of the student body of Host Peak Academy. 
That's true. It's all clear. That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess all that makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless. But still, how is it not one of us have ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean it really did cover it, cover it up? You know? <laughs> well, there's a big garden on the fifth floor, and I pissed in one of the flowers. Wow. Found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant and a chicken coop, and uh, a tool shed. Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. For serious? It's totally a man-eating plant. Pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh, yeah. Apparently, the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Why did I think that's an idiot? <laughs> idiot. <laughs> yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched to catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know. <laughs> of course not. Idiots never get wet. I think you're thinking it does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? Uh, do you? <laughs> Probably not. What the heck? Hey, come on. You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, Good but that doesn't Lord. make me feel stupid. It was kindergarten, by the way. Whoa. If, it make, if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. It's 10 10. Huh? What was the question again? Don't worry. You just answered it. Fuck you. Hey. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Bio. Probably, yeah, probably bios. <laughs> If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be like some kind of creature. The final boss, or tyrant, or my uh, dad. Or Byakuya. Or Byakuya. We're not in a horror game, though. No, but we're in a psychological thriller. <laughs> what? <laughs> Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well... I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. I'm always right. What? No, how I said it is right, too. Okay. Wait, what are you talking about? We talked to everybody already. Oh, wait, no, I still have to finish talking to Hero. Uh. <laughs> remember the time I told you this? Remember the time I blood? <laughs> I bled everywhere. You know? A chicken cube. There are a bunch of cocks in the cock room, right? Mm. That's right, five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. We know. Let's raise them up big and fat. Then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Ah. Oh, oh, or how about raw? Because there's what? nothing fresher than fucking salmonella, am I right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. Fucking weirdo. You know? Well, anyway. There's a book shack. Oh. You noticed it too, huh? The pickaxe. What? Huh? What about it? Have you played Minecraft? Excuse I bet you have <laughs> Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed. And the worst crazy diamond of a card into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy diamond? Hmm. Yeah, that does come to bit sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. <laughs> I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Huh? Where? Uh, I remember. Why? Mondo, why are you, like, so stretched? <laughs> <laughs> It was on Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. God, I miss him. Crazy. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy fuck. Uh, diamond. <laughs> that crazy bastard. You're absolutely right. Mm, but why would that be on a pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Maybe he clipped through the floor. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here and Mondo come up confins confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. And what did? Yo. What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. You know, send it out there somehow. Huh? How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe we could use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. Well, no, just maybe make it, it fly through the air like that one clip. <laughs> <laughs> maybe use it to, to call for help. Hmm. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know. You know? <laughs> well, back then my personality hadn't quite uh, solidified yet. Oh, I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Are we just gonna forget that you tried hmm. to kill us all? 
Well, I think that's the new information that we uh, have forever. Yo. So, like, what do we do? Hmm. Well, for starter, you can you can die because you've served your purpose. Oh. Starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um. So, what is it you want to figure out? Hmm. How to make you stop talking? Kyoko's identity. Huh? <laughs> well, Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is Kyoko, right? Yes, but who is Kyoko? Kyoko. The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Pope's Peak Academy. But Kyoko? Hina is the ultimate, the ultimate swimming fuck. Hiro is the ultimate moron. Even Makoto is the ultimate lucky shithead. More unlucky than, un or more unlucky than lucky these days. So what about Kyoko? Can someone tell me what she is? It's pretty freaking obvious. Yeah, it's pretty freaking obvious. Um, she's the... <laughs> Oculus? <laughs> this is, it's pretty Oculus riff that she's the ultimate purple. So like, come the on. Fuck <laughs> now that you mentioned it, she's never told us. Hmm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. It's not a matter I'm of like... I'm just thinking about <laughs> fucking Oculus. <laughs> it's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust, and I don't trust any of you. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? It could be ultimate mastermind or ultimate despair. We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So Kyoko, it's time you told us. I'm the ultimate spec. I can't. <laughs> hmm? What? Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? What do you mean? So... Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. What? You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? What, what is that? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is you can't be serious suspicious. right now, can you? I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However, But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us, and I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey, what are you going to do? Torture me? Hmm. Nothing so barbaric as that, just rip your head off. No, that's okay, all. that's not a whole <laughs> lot of torture, simply... but just straight to the point. <laughs> I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. Yeah. Limit my options by tearing my fucking head off. <laughs> limit my options. I will wring your neck. I will just get rid of all... Off. Give me Wait. the key to your room. I will get rid of four of your senses. <laughs> <laughs> what if she gives you a room key, then like, she won't have a room anymore. Huh. Very good. <laughs> She can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. Can you shut the fuck up? Yeah. <laughs> and if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is freaking tell us about literally anything about herself that I can reason out, but won't. Just hold on. A threat like that? You won't do shit. That's fine. Fine. I understand. <laughs> Good, you're finally in the mood for conversation. So, bitch, tell me who you really are. I'm running away. Not a word. Kyoko just walked right up to Byakuya and killed her. And held out a room key. Oh. It can't be. It can't be. You damn fool. <laughs> Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, <laughs> I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... If you really think about it, does it sound totally impossible? This is the worst school ever, where the, only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia will fit right in. Dude, we literally had a whole bit at the beginning where we didn't know how we got in here. Right. Because we lost our memory. However, the worst school where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? Uh, yeah. Like, 12 people died in here. Huh? That's nothing. Hey. Can you really be sure life here hasn't been filled with the only worst thing? <laughs> I totally fucked that up. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back and just fell through the floor. Come Goodbye. on. Why do you think you're- Get your ass back up here, first of all. Where are you going? I can't. Goodbye. I'm already falling through the map. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to harm you. Yeah. <laughs> she walks away with the knife. Oh, God. <laughs> Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. And then she got stuck in the door. What the heck? What's her deal? Open the door. But... <laughs> <laughs> I think you went too far taking her room key like that. She literally gave it to me. <laughs> For her, that wasn't far enough. <gasps> Ew. Oh my god. Oh my 
open the door. <laughs> get out of here. I can't believe get I joined that. Get that shit off the screen. Getting Scram! Stop talking. You're getting noisy again. Shut the fuck up. Come on. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, of your heart beating, <laughs> it grates on me. Hey. Are you telling me to die? <laughs> I mean, I know how you feel. I feel the same way, but uh, that's a little, that's a little <laughs> messed up, man. What's Kyoko gonna do now? Plus the situation, the sitch. It's just like before. No different from when everyone started accusing Sakura, and I liked her a lot. And I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. I'm powerless. <laughs> Thank God I didn't have to voice like that. Um, Why are you yelling? Cause, I mean... <laughs> it's, how long have you been standing there? Very, very. I'm really huh? angry at what? At the thief. Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to tell you there's a thief in your midst. Huh? What? Hey. My precious. They stole it. Your precious? Your teacher had such faith in you. And, and this is how you repay me with betrayal? With betrayal? Why? <laughs> okay. Why was this one fully voiced? <laughs> Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um, but... What the heck is your precious? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street. What the heck? Man, he's gone. What a dickhead. What the hell was that all about? So, um... He said something about his precious getting stolen? Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. And well, something that her would be willing and able to steal something from Mr. M Mr. Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? If that's true, then what was it? And why would she do that? Bong. Alright, um, go eat a bag of rocks. Um. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need to get out of here. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow and uh, about Kyoko. Hmm. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms and don't go wandering around. Well, not like we need you to tell us that. No, I think you do. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Following in his lead, we each went back to what? We each went back to our rooms. Ah. Uh, and then I laid on the bed and died. All right, this looks like the perfect place to wrap up this episode. Excellent. So next time on Dong and Rampa, trigger happy havoc. We are going to reconvene and figure out the truth behind the 16th student as well as um, some other stuff. I honestly don't remember much of that what happens after this point, but we'll see. So, as always, if you all enjoyed and want to keep the series going, show us some love and support, you know what to do. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe, dislike, <laughs> fucking and, uh, we'll pirate never, this video. <laughs> we'll never see you again. Bye.